Hey guys, Kat and Nat here, and we're in the WW studio cooking up one of our favorite WW recipes, which is butternut brownie. It's so delicious. The kids don't know that they're eating vegetables, and you cut half the smart points. I love that. You ready? Yes. You're gonna add all of your dry ingredients together, like the flour, flour, cocoa powder. I'm gonna do this one first and go in order. So flour. I thought you had to follow recipes. Baking, baking. powder, salt. Yes. Cocoa powder. Yes. Just like that. Time. And now you're gonna mix together your wet ingredients, which is the butternut squash. Yep. Maple syrup. Are you ready? Egg. And vanilla. Okay, so now I'm gonna add the melted butter. Correct, Amanda. And the melted chocolate. Okay. Mm. You're gonna wanna add it into the try. You also can freeze these, you guys. You can make them individual portions, put them in the freezer, and then you can pop them out whenever you have your sweet tooth, if they make it to that point. Because that. we all know how I love sweets. So, then we're just gonna do this. Now see, I don't, you, you just go and... Mm, this smells oh, so chocolatey this and vanilla This is taking good. everything in me not to just go to town on the brownie pan, let me tell you. And this is also great because if you have picky eaters, you're actually getting the butternut squash into the kids and yourself, oh, and it tastes like chocolate. Just spread it out, throw it in the oven, and enjoy. I can't wait. Me neither. My favorite thing is that you do not have to give up what you love on WW. You make it work, you can eat it, you can enjoy it. Mm. Oh so good. I'm so blown away, mm -hmm. but I can't taste the butternut squash, but it just tastes so fudgy mm -hmm. and chewy and moist. Moist. Gooey. Oh my gosh. Make sure you go to www.com, check out more recipes. You can find this recipe here, and don't forget to enjoy.